Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a local replica of chat.deepseek.com for free. And that being said, let's get started. To set up the local replica of chat.deepseek.com, as you can see here, we need three things. One thing is VLLM or Olama. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to use VLLM because VLLM can leverage Kaggle's 30 gigs free GPU VRAM. So as you can see here, so if you have not followed my previous tutorial, uh, feel free to check out my other videos for VLM setup. As you can see here, we have a lot of videos to show you how to set up VLM. So after you set it up, uh, make sure you use the right model. Uh, so we're using the DeepSeek R1 Distill Q1-32B uh, Q4 version from uh, Bartolski Rebel, from this uh, Bartolski uh, Hugging Face Rebel, which is very famous. And then uh, make sure you also give it a API key to make it more secure, and then turn on this parallel tensor. So you have to uh, use two GPUs, so turn on the tensor parallel size equals to two, then um, pipeline parallel size equals to one. So after that, um, just also adjust this model length equals to 5600 because um, this model is fairly large. It's going to take a lot of the GPU memory. So you have to adjust the max model length to a proper size. And that should be it. Then uh, you can see this is running. So this is the OpenAI compatible VLM powered DeepSeed R1. So, and uh, this is for VLM setup. So if you uh, want to build this uh, local replica, you need another thing, which is the open web UI. So if you have not followed my t previous tutorials, so you can also search for open web UI. So we also have a lot of tutorials for that. After you set up the open web UI, um, make sure you point this open AI API base URL to the VLLM open AI compatible URL, which you just set up. So in this case, it would be D7A3, as you can see here. So this is the one that we just set up. So use this URL for open web UI, the LLM. So then also you need the API key. We also added the API key for the VLLM. That should be it. Then you have to set up the third component, which is the Seer XNG. So if you go to my previous tutorial for Perplexica, uh, you should be able to find this uh, Seer XNG setup. So you also need to set this up in the same notebook as the Open Web UI. The reason is, um, you probably need more ungrok tokens if you set up different notebooks. So to keep it uh, compressed and clean, you just have to put everything that's not uh, GPU based to one notebook. So that should actually compress a lot of the space and resource. So after you set up your uh, XNG, you also need to adjust those parameters, make sure that um, you have this port equals to 8889, whatever port that's not conflict with your uh, open web UI port. So in this case, we used 8889. Do you need also a secret key? In this case, we'll just put a Kaggle test. You do need to turn off the Redis URL. So uh, because we do not need these Redis in this case, and that should be it. So the offshore way to set it up is way more complicated. So this is a very straightforward way to set it up on Kaggle. Then make sure you install supervisor and give a supervisor version. So they need a different supervisor version, which is 421. And make sure that's set up. Then you can actually spin up the Sear XNG service in the backend, similar to this one. So you should run this Python command and point to this web app UI. That should be it then you can actually uh, start the supervisor. So XNG will spin up, as you can see here. It's async IO, and then the port is 8889. So this is the 
Azure XNG service. So after you set up the model using VLM and the Open Web UI and the search engine, which is Sear XNG, then uh, let's go back to the Open Web UI. So then you should be see this interface. So to wire up the Sear XNG, just go to the settings, go to the admin settings, go to the web search, make sure you uh, point this web search engine to Sear XNG and also enable web search. Then add this URL, which is localhost, the port you specified in the configuration, and then search Q equals to query. You can search the result count uh, as five or any number you want. The larger the number, it will be slower. So uh, the concurrent request, we set to three, dash a bit, then click save, and then go back to your chat. Click plus sign. You can see there's icons called web search. So turn it on. Then you should be able to use uh, search Sear XNG for your uh, web search engine plus DeepSeq R1 as your LLM. So for example, we tested a few prompts. So first we'll do a search. Let's say searched five sites, which is what we configured, right? We ask the question, can you tell me the relationship of DeepSeq and NVIDIA price? And then they figured out all this website. And after that, they run a query on DeepSeq R1. So you can see here, uh, this is the results. So first you run a search, then you run a reasoning model and it thought for a few seconds and generated these results. So also included the links, which is great. Then we also ask the question, can you tell me what are the best AI bot traders app? They also search for five website, as you can see here. You can click on those as well and then start thinking about it using the DeepSecure model. Then you also get the response, which is awesome. And then you can also ask a question like, is O3 Mini better than DeepSeek R1? So they also search five website and then thought for a few seconds, then you got this uh, response, which is um, for complex tasks and fast response, O3 Mini is considered better because it's actually better understanding of the prompts and the rich checklist, its thoughts process, make it more reliable and accurate. And also for simple everyday tasks, DeepSeek R1 is a great choice as it's open source and more accessible. So that's the answer from the DeepSeek R1 model and with the response from the Sear XNG search engine, which is uh, we uh, plan to do. So that should be it. So to give you a real test, you can just copy this and then paste it here. Let's say is O3 good at research. So let's see how it performs. So let's hit enter. So first it will start to search the web, which is called generating search query. It will take a while after it's generated the search query, it will start passing this uh, response to the Dipsikara model, and then you will see the response in here. So that should be it. So Hopefully this is helpful and if you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.